The religious authorities in Jerusalem have challenged Jesus directly on the issue of his authority. Jesus doesn't tell them directly on what authority he does what he does. Instead, he tells them a parable. And it's one of the saddest, most tragic parables that Jesus ever told. Jesus then began to speak to them in parables. A man planted a vineyard. He put a wall around it, dug a pit for the wine press, and built a watchtower. Then he rented the vineyard to some farmers and moved to another place. At harvest time, he sent a servant to the tenants to collect from them some of the fruit of the vineyard. But they seized him, beat him, and sent him away empty-handed. Then he sent another servant to them. They struck this man on the head and treated him shamefully. He sent still another, and that one they killed. He sent many others, some of them they beat, others they killed. He had one left to send, a son, whom he loved. He sent him last of all, saying, they will respect my son. But the tenants said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let's kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they took him and killed him and threw him out of the vineyard. In this parable, the man who planted a vineyard and built a wall around it is God. The tenant farmers who he asked to look after the vineyard represent the people of Israel to whom he had entrusted his blessings. But when God wanted to have some of the fruit that was rightfully his, they wouldn't give it to him. Remember how the day before, Jesus had gone to find fruit on the fig tree but found none? It's really the same story. The servants whom the owner of the vineyard sent to collect some fruit were the prophets. God had continued to send them, although they were ridiculed, rejected, and even killed one after another. Eventually, the man sends his beloved son, but in the tragic climax of this story, they also kill the son. As you hear this parable, your natural reaction might be to think, I could never do what those tenants did to the son. And that's probably what Jesus' hearers thought as well. Yet a few days later, they would call for his blood. I'd like to invite you to find a quiet place today and reflect on where you are at in your relationship with Jesus. <laughs> 